The techniques of movements are built around the two basic postures of the Chauka and the Trivanga. The Chauka is a position imitating a square, a very masculine stance with the weight of the body equally balanced. The Trivanga is a very feminine stance where the body is deflected at the neck, torso and the knees. Odyssey is not only popular for its unique dance style, but also very popular for the costumes. It's very important to keep its tradition while performing this art form. This dance is not recommended to be performed without the costume and makeup. It's a very sacred dance form. Odyssey dancers are required to perform with either a stitch costume or sari. Odyssey dance is complemented by intricate filigree silver jewelry pieces. Filigree in Oriya it is called Tarakasi. This highly skilled art form is more than 500 years old and is traditionally done by local artisans on the eastern parts of Odisha. The jewelry pieces of the Odyssey dancers costume is comprised of the tikka. Forehead ornament, alaka, headpiece, and who is the tikka hangs. Earrings, mostly peacock shaped, with jhumkas hanging from them. Two necklaces, a smaller necklace, one close to the neck, and a longer necklace with a hanging pendant. Two sets of bangles, one on the upper arm and wrist, kankana and bahujudi. Bengapatiya, the waist belt, khosa fula, the silver filigree work flower to be worn onto the hairdo. Anklets, which is called paunji, is optional. Tahiya, for the beautifying the head, the crown or makuta. The makuta consists of three parts. The flower decorated back piece, called the gava, sits around the dancer's hair pulled into a bun at the back of the head. This piece represents the lotus with a thousand petals that lies above the head in the head chakra or energy center and a ghungru pair is